Representing the permanent secretary of education, Dr. Jobix Kalumba, we receive this beautiful structure, infrastructure with the help of ZRTF Thank you. to know, guest of honor, that ZRDF, from the time we started our implementation of our programs, today we are handing in three scores. Now, just because time may not be with us, we are going to hand over two scores. And this will mark the 11th class long block, one by three standard built classes which will hand over to the government and the community at large. And I want you to appreciate that it's not only classroom blocks, but 33 houses for teachers and close to 66 VIP toilets and not less than eight boho drilled uh, monopumps. And all this is to try and improve the quality of education in these places. This is that triggers government also to provide the trained teachers in these community schools. It also triggers government to provide the learning materials and also to provide technical support to these teachers. Before I sit, you may also wish to know who is funding ZRDF. We have a donor who's been supporting these communities from United Kingdom called Beniard Zambia Trust and they've been providing 80% of our budget. And we also have Egmont Trust. We also have the funding that is coming through IFAD. Though it does not come direct to ZRDF, it goes through the Minister of Finance. Then the Minister of Finance is coordinated, the funds coordinated by an organization called the RUFEP, Rural Finance Expansion Program. Finally, we have the funding that is coming through DFID which is also coming through our main donor, Benia Zambia Trust. All in all, the funds that have been invested in the infrastructure that you see here and the programs that are happening around this community is estimated above 800,000. That's the amount of money that this community has benefited. And I want to encourage the community at large through the PTAs and CBOs to make sure that they own these programs, these infrastructures, not only today, but for the generations to come. I'm very happy to be here, especially that the Ministry of Education policy is to provide quality education to every Zambian, regardless of where they are. And we all are aware that uh, the country Zambia is very big. No matter how much effort the government puts in, it is not easy to reach every citizen in the country. That's why, as Minister of General Education, on behalf of government, we are very grateful to receive partners like ZRDF that have come aboard to help uh, government through Minister of Education to provide infrastructure that should actually go towards the quality giving of education to our people. I have been reliably informed that over the past eight years, Zambia Rainbow Development Fund, Foundation ZRDF, and Bernard's Zambia Trust UK have been partners with Ministry of Education in supporting community-based development interventions in Mukushi and Ilwano District. Ladies and gentlemen, the other piece of information before me is that Zambia Renewable Reni Development Foundation evasions an empowered community freely pursuing its livelihood, long-term goals of poverty eradication through demand-driven initiatives. Fellow citizens have further learned that this is achieved by building capacities of vulnerable households and individuals promoting relevant in initiatives that make a different difference to people's lives. ZRDF's programs are centered on the following four thematics area. Livelihood, 
and food security strengthening. Household economic empowerment, education, water, and sanitation. Integrated health focusing on HIV prevention services. Many rural and remote communities face a lot of challenges in accessing education due to the fact that the existing ones are usually far away from their homes. It is in this line that ZRDF is building schools in such areas to alleviate the problems. Government under the able leadership of His Excellence, Dr. Edgar Chagualungu is also trying hard to build schools and with the coming in of NGOs like ZRDF. The burden will definitely be reduced in the near future. Allow me therefore to thank ZRDF and its partner BZT on the work well done. Government is fully behind you and your program. extend my sincere gratitude to the DRDF team who are key partners in fostering development in my chiefdom. First of all, sir, may I mention that ZRDF has rehabilitated one school, Chpumf Primary School, constructed three schools in my chiefdom, Kamimbia, Kalungaleka and Vole School, and another school is being constructed Luansha Plymouth. Guest of honor, sir, sometime back my people used to face challenges of accessing education for, for the children. Now the coming in of the ZRDF to my chiefdom, at least some of these challenges have been reduced. For this, I thank ZRDF for their support. <music>